Hey guys, Gary here, thanks for checking in. Uh, quick video today about what tools do I bring to the range with me, uh, which you could extrapolate to mean what tools should you bring to the range with you. However, uh, I bring the shit that I most often need and uh, a couple other things that are useful. It's not like I keep them in my range bag <clears throat> and a couple other things. But I'm not saying this is what you need to bring. It is over the course of all the trips I've come to the range. Kabow, uh, shit that I needed. So now I keep it with me. So uh, let's get into uh, what we got. Uh, so open my range bag here. Now I usually have a couple of uh, a couple of other part things of tools as well. I have a, uh, a small tool bag full of all the things I need to set up steel targets. It's got replacement bolts, replacement springs, stakes for the target stands, a hammer uh, for pounding those stakes in. So like that bag of tools is with me. Uh, maybe at some point I'll do a, a video just about that bag. But some of the tools from that bag, AKA the hammer, this is my tiny gunsmithing hammer, um, it does double duty and I pull it out of that bag if I need to use it for anything else with a hammer. Uh, likewise, I bring a battery powered sawzall, battery powered circular saw, battery powered screw gun, um, because many of the ranges I go to, uh, instead of trying to staple up backers, uh, I will screw them up, you know, if they're thick, heavy. Uh, I keep a thing of drywall screws and a screw gun and a charger in that bag. So the screw gun sometimes also uh, does double duty. And I'll show you here why in a second uh, double duty that it does so something i started bringing just recently because i started uh, working on people's rifles you know we throw them here on the table and then we fucking do shit to them uh, but my midwest industries has uh, released these uh, receiver blocks so like this is a, a one for an ar this is one for a 308 ar uh, and this is one for ak's uh, 74 47 uh, and because I'm getting old, I hit some white paint on the print so I could easy, more easily read what it says. But uh, so that screw gun makes it so that I can screw these to the bench. And now I don't have to have a vise. I can just screw it fast and I got a vise block for my rifles if I need to work on them. Instead of like, you hold this part and I'll hold that part. We can just literally click it on and... Uh, go to work so those uh, go in the bag they usually are not in my range bag they're in the tool bag with the screw guns and whatnot but the screws and screw gun go with those to portable workstation now for uh, specific gun tools inside my gray ghost gear range bag maybe I can put a link I don't know uh, I have this pouch velcroed in place it is from sneaky bags i don't even know if they're still a company or not they made some great stuff that i still use to this day uh but they kind of disappeared a little bit uh hopefully they're still out there doing doing making good stuff so this pouch has two it's zip uh, zipper pouch it's got tools in it and these are the ones that i find myself needing looks like so i'm just going to pull the tools out it's got some compartments and We'll talk about what's in here. Uh, so there is an actual multi-tool Gerber. So you got pliers and then some screwdrivers and a pair of fucking scissors, but pliers for if you need pliers. Um, just dig it out one by one, I guess. There is this uh, AK FST from Magnematic, which is a AK uh, sight tool. So this thing spins and pushes the barrel. And then this guy here, you can stick on the end and adjust the post. It is the best AK sight tool. Uh, I have some AR sight tool. Oh, I actually have two AK sight tools. I got this guy in here too. Uh, hmm. I forgot that was even in there. The uh, AR sight tools, is the one from Midwest Industry Combat Sights, which damn, is a four pronger. But I also have this old one here. Uh, I don't know where I got it. Damn. That guy's got money. 
but it's a four pronger on one end and a five pronger on the other end. Uh, did a video with Billy Birdzell and he had an old uh, M16, uh, like two digit serial number. That's how old it was. And uh, we needed, that guy saved the day so we could do the A1 uh, sight post adjustment. I also got this tool that my good buddy Jordan Winkler gave me. It is the, uh, ooh, I don't know if there's a name on it. It's a Gerber. It's got a bunch of little tools on a couple little bits. And then it's like got a carbon scraper and a buffer wrench and a couple different wrenches. It's basically like a like an armorer's tool that folds up. I'll do some close-up photos too. Uh, I think I may have done a video on this guy. I don't remember what it's called. I know Gerber makes it, but it's like their uh, pocket AR tool. Um, damned if I don't. I don't remember what it's called. Um, some Loctites of various styles, like some some blue and reds that I may need to fix somebody's sights. Uh, I mentioned this in an Instagram post. I keep one of these old, like a Gen 1 PMAG dust covers. I cut this end off, but uh, it's got a go, no-go gauge for feed lips on the back. Keep that in there so if we're having magazine problems, uh, we can check that. I have this uh, two-piece cleaning rod uh, I got from Tactical Guns and Gear. I think they called it the Tacti Extract. It, and it may have more pieces, but it's so that you can do stuck cases out of a pistol. Um, I'm pretty sure it's cleaning rod sections. I could probably put a couple more on there and do stuck cases in a rifle. Uh, small pick. 10-8 tool uh, for folks that uh, don't like me using the shit that scratches their guns. Speaking of scratching guns, a punch, a drift punch. It's been beat up quite a bit. Uh, I think it's a Craftsman. Eh, maybe not. Uh, but that goes with the hammer. We can now drift sights right out there in the field. m and tool, uh, between the punch, the 10-8 tool, and the m and tool, we can kind of push pins and pull things uh, like that fits almost everything. Uh, there is also the tiny little wrench. Allen wrench comes with big dots for tightening the rear sight of excess sights. Uh, have in here the front sight tool for lock that also comes with big dots. They were nice enough to, they put those tools in the, the uh, package with the sights, so it gives me some spare tools to keep with me. Uh, people got scope issues we need to worry about. I got this uh, Arasaka scope leveling device, which uh, works great to level a scope in scope rings or in a scope mount. However, some optics sit so low that that won't work, so I have feeler gauges uh, to do the same thing with. Uh, you just find the right amount of feeler gauge, put it between the flat spot on the scope, flat spot on the uh, scope mount, and enough of them so that it can't rotate on the two flat spots, and it works. Not as slick as the Arasaka, but it does go lower if it's a super low mount. Um, and then that's everything except this guy, and this is a Fix-It Sticks kit. So... It is the uh, T-handle with an extension, and um, I don't remember what they call this torque uh, fitting, because they have ones that click that have different inch pounds. This one is uh, like adjustable, like once it gets tight, it turns and shows you what inch pounds it's at, so you don't have to have like 10 of them for, for space. Uh, the only thing I did is I bought, uh, went to Lowe's and bought some bits because I think the bit from my Hollow Sun uh, pistol optic, 407K, 507K, one of the K models, uh, there wasn't a Torx bit in here that fit that, so I had to go buy one more. But there was a couple extra slots, so it's got a bunch of bits, Torx and Allen bits, uh, T-handle, torque fitting, so that pretty much takes care of tightening all the screws and bolts on like optic mounts and whatnot. 
and then you know tools to level them and that kind of thing. So that's the gist of what tools I bring to the range with me to like fucking tinker with guns while you're at the range. Now if it's at a class, I might hand you a tool, but usually I'm too busy with the instructional part to fuck with your gun. So if you didn't bring tools and spare parts and all that shit, there's probably not much I can do for you either. Uh, except maybe hand you some tools. More likely I'll hand you a loaner gun to get you through the rest of the class and then maybe help you diagnose it when class is over. But I have found like even just coming to the range like on a day like today where I'm gonna do some drills, uh, this pile of tools covers everything that I'm gonna need to deal with here. Now, at my house, I don't necessarily double up on all those tools. Like this is the only AK sight tool I have and it's in my range bag. So if I'm working on shit at the house, I may need to come out and get my range bag and supplement my tool bench with it because I'm not buying doubles of, of everything. So maybe I'll do a video about what I got on my bench. Uh, and if so, you may have found this video because I linked from that one to this one showing you the other stuff. Maybe that's in the future, but maybe not because uh, I don't make a lot of videos anymore. But I got asked about tools that I bring to the range with me, so I thought I'd bust out a quick video while I was at the range and show you what I got. So that's what I got. Feel free to use it as a guide. I'd put a bunch of links down where you could buy this stuff, but YouTube's fucking terrible, and if a place sells a, a pocket knife somewhere on their website, and I put a link somewhere else on their website that shows a punch, they will pull my video. I mean, I already am not, they, can, they can't demonetize it. I'm not monetized. Uh, you're welcome. But like I can't, if I link to Lowe's and they they could use the fact that Lowe's website sells razor knives to pull the listing for buying this Craftsman Punch or pull the video. So I'll put the names of it and you just have to search on your own to find the links. Uh, some of the stuff you can get like from Brownells or uh, you know, like primary arms, places like that. And if you go to the website, traumasdynamics.com, uh, where we don't sell any fucking weapons, <laughs> uh, you can find links from there. Sometimes they're affiliate links where I get a small kickback if you buy your tool from Brownells. Uh, or you don't need to give me a kickback because I, I don't make a living at those, so it's fine too. All right, good luck with your tool search. And uh, I'd say if you have some other tools that you think would be really cool for me to get, Put them in the comments, but I don't fucking have comments because YouTube's fucking got dumpster fire in the comments. Take it easy.